Hmm. Okay, so I play Anthropic Manipulator, I play Xantix Harvester and Collector Worm. I draw back to six and I'll end my turn. I draw action. Give the Kyrakan creature with the lowest power 3 plus 1 power counter. No creature in play. Cool. Oh no, it's an action. Uh. Mm. This is this is an artifact. Yes, and this is an action. Okay, so exhaust your most powerful creature and each creature you control that shares a house with it. Okay. If the tidy high, the Kira can archive an adventure card. Tide is low. Kira can reaps. Gets another ember. All good. <sighs> so I'll play this one. Ember imp. I'll destroy it. With Overlord Greg King, I'll play Yurk and discard the Entropic Manipulator and I'll ready my cards and I'll draw back one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, and six. All right, and this is ready. Okay, doesn't advance. Action for each time the Kirakin has advanced this game, it has one creature. Draw that many cards. Okay, nothing happens. Gains one Ember and Elusive Slippery Arm. Then it gives the Kirakin creature three plus one counters. Okay, fantastic. All right, ready. Ready, and this rips, yes, obviously, and gets to four. <sighs> I will play mouse, I will destroy them all. I will play this creature. This creature. I will reap the two, which I will spend to raise the tie to increase the key cost or the advancement cost. And I will reap another one. Okay. So and draw back to one, two, three. Huh. So, doesn't advance the Kirakun against Skirmish. Pray the most powerful creature and fight. Deal three to each neighbor of the creature the, at the end of the Kirakenst. Okay. So he will fight this turn and pray. Okay, this one, and I get a crushing arm. So he will fight and deal three to the neighbors. So he will fight Overlord Gracking, get one damage, and deal three to the neighbors. Huh, interesting. So it's not going to forge anytime soon. I could play my destroy them all. Yeah, I think I, I do that. I'll destroy them all. So I destroy these two. And I rip for, oh, actually. 
I will. Capture, make him capture one. Then I will reap for two. Reap for one. Reap for one. Destroy the mole and destroy these two. And then I ready everything and draw back to six. Fantastic. So, oh uh, no. His turn. High tide. So, another crushing arm. And a whirlpool and turn exhaust one of your creatures that is not on his turn. No, no, no. Gets to four and he rips with the Kiraken. Oh, this guy got three from the previous fight. Correction. Huh. So this gets ready, I will forge. So he will lose two armor. I want to go through my deck, so I will... Uh, this one is praying the least powerful flame creature. <sighs> hmm. I play this, I play this guy, this guy, and these two. Or I just want this one to die. No, I want this one to die. Two, three, four. Six. Hmm. All right, so play stun your most powerful creature and each creature that shares a house with it. Fantastic. If the tide is high, you may lower the tide instead. I will actually lower the tide instead. I will lower the tide instead. And I will get play if the tide is low. Deal six damage from the Kriar can if the tide is high against three chains. Very good. Then I will. Action, stun on his own one of your creatures and has already stunned. I will stun and exhaust. Uh, Groggins. Right, the least powerful flank creature. So we'll attack Groggin. Destroy Groggins. Deal eight. And this one will reap. He will check. So now, huh. I will play broad now. I will go one. I will attack till eleven minus. Four, so that's seven damage, and I get three on roll up. I'll do another eleven, so that's nine and eleven, and I get three on that one. I will. Fight with this one again. I get another three, and I'll deal another 
11. And I will fight and do another six. And that's just enough. So that's uh, that's how it ends. And uh, <laughs> Robna prevails. The, the original plan was somehow to leverage. I mean, I'm not the on this one on this deck. Let's put it that way. They. The mask gives a bit of control over uh, what I can do, especially I want to destroy the artifacts and we destroy them all and target ping some, some creatures. Then the, the, this is here to, to put some bodies on the board and to essentially uh, uh, filter the hand with the Yurks to get access to the Brobnar. That was my plan. And the Brobnar, I have my uh, Gengenot combo here, and I have three very large bloodies with the Grogins. The Grogins can't obviously attack the Kiraken, so it was more of a diversion. And then I have uh, the Gauntlets and into the fray, to uh, to do basically up to four attacks with a lot up and and destroy and it's enough in a one player game to destroy the the Kiraken. So that was the objective. Thanks a lot. Mm -hmm.